And I am Syke from 106.1 VLI, filling in again for Elisa DiStefano. Thank you so much for having me back. Thank you for coming. This is, this is great. third time, and I haven't messed up the first two times. Enough to get back the third time is it's, pretty impressive. It's pretty amazing. Awesome. You're actually, you know, a gold medal winner at this point. <laughs> I don't know about that. But, yeah. but this is amazing, right, to be here? Yeah. I've, I've been here a million times before, but I don't think I've ever actually walked through and, like, I mean, you can touch things. There's yeah. orange trees over there. This is a beautiful, beautiful room in here. It's so fragrant. It's so inspiring because I have a black thumb. Do you have a green thumb? Um, no. I have two thumbs. I don't okay. know what color well, they'd be good. considered, but definitely not green because <laughs> I couldn't plant or keep anything alive if I tried. I think it was probably two years ago I came here. It was, you know, Otto and fall yes, and all that um, kind of that, stuff. That's what I came here for as a kid was yes. Otto and the, the corn. Yep. You get the corn on the cob and pumpkin yes. picking, of yeah, course. Yeah, yeah, they have a little hayride, the animals outside, awesome. And I was talking to them and saying, you know, I'm really not very good at um, growing anything. Mm -hmm. And so they said, oh, okay, we'll give you a bamboo. Okay. And this is going to be great. Sorry, you're off. But this thing died. Like, <laughs> I'm not even kidding you. I, I want to say like two weeks. And they told me, oh, no, you can't kill this. Yeah. And I was I, like, oh, that's <laughs> like you're throwing it down. Challenge yes, accepted. I, <laughs> I got this. That bamboo's going to be dead in three hours. So yeah. I look at all of this and I think, wow. Yeah. This is Look at the, I mean, look at that table. It's incredibly colorful. Yes. Um, like you said, very, very um, scenty. Fragrant. I guess you could fragrant, fragrant is the word I was looking for. So I'm not in TV, people. <laughs> He's very scenty. I'm one of those radio guys <laughs> that gets to edit things out when I mess up. Not here on television. No, no, no can't no. do that. But yeah, very fragrant, beautiful. The colors are amazing. I'm loving some of the blues and the oranges yes. back where we were earlier today. And the orange tree, that was awesome, too. I didn't even expect there to be an orange tree. Yeah, and there's like a huge waterfall. I just want to go around and like take pictures. Yeah. You yeah, know, yeah. it's like and an Instagram paradise. One to bring to my wife. Oh, that section. would be a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> Do some shopping on the way out of here. So what do you have planned for this weekend? Because we have St. Patrick's Day. Obviously, the flower show at Hicks is well, also happening. Of course, St. Patrick's Day <laughs> is on Sunday. This morning on the show, we did the top five most famous Patricks. Okay. Um, so let's see if you agree. So we had Patrick Swayze. Number one. Patrick Dempsey. Okay, no, yeah. Um, we had Patrick Stewart. Okay. We had Pat Sajak. Oh, that's a good one. And Patrick Ewing. I think that's a strong list. So right? who, who are the ones that like just didn't make it? I mean, there are, we also tried to figure out whether or not we could include Pat, like a, a Patterson, um, oh. Pat Pavlin from News 12. <laughs> we thought about putting him in there. But Patrick Schwarzenegger, there's oh, Patrick Warburton. Yeah. There's so many Patricks, it's not even funny. Yeah. Patricia Heaton, and then you get into the females, oh. Patricia Heaton. Right, because you have to do that a little bit. Yeah, yeah you got to include the females because we'll get calls if we don't. Yes. Are you going to do anything like specific for St. Patrick's yep, Day? Yep, corned beef and cabbage. Oh, where? Me and my wife are making it at home. Oh, you are? We're very good at it, actually. We tried last year for the first time as a uh, like a living together couple. Now we're a married couple trying it uh, as a married couple. Yeah. All right, so my sister is deciding to have a little party. So okay. we're a, a lot Irish. Yeah. And um, A lot she, Irish. A lot. It's I don't know what the percentage is. Yes. yes. <laughs> we're very Irish. If you connect all the dots of my yeah. freckles, it's the map of Ireland. Like yeah. Cork is over here in Galway. Hmm. Anyway, so she said, okay, we're making corned beef and cabbage and something else. And she's going to have Guinness and whatever. And I said, okay, so we only eat food that's on the kids' menu and is beige. So I will beverage and Perfect. is tequila Irish. But I don't think it no. is. No, no. But well, Jameson makes those cask mates. You could get the, I think there's like a Guinness Stout and an IPA Jameson whiskey. Okay. Which now reminds me I have to get to the liquor store and pick those up on my way home today. Oh, okay. Or we could eat macaroons and play with toys. Ooh, macaroons. <laughs> macaroons. I love actually, macaroons. yeah, this woman is amazing. I saw her on Instagram and she's actually a teacher. She's you know, so lovely. And she even has little ones for St. Patrick's Day, oh. but she does like unicorns and all kinds of really it's creative awesome. stuff. It's really awesome. And then we have Jen here, who you randomly yes. know. Yes, I, I grew up with Jen's brother, Brian. He was my best friend growing up and wow. uh, we haven't kept in touch over the years, but yeah, we still always talk back and back and forth once in a blue and to walk in and see her. And so it'll be like awesome. your childhood all over again yeah. when we play toys now. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> Perfect. Can't wait. <laughs> so we may be at the flower show but we also have a blooming flower from the toy show. So Jen from Newsday, what is this thing gonna do? So this is Bloom from Skyrocket. It's coming out this summer. And basically you put a little bit of water on the top of this okay. flower pot and they're collectible dolls that bloom from the top. <laughs> I love the size hair. of the little pot. Okay, so we'll wait for that to bloom. It won't take like all it's spring coming. though, right? Oh, it's coming? It Just kidding. Like, oh, wow. It looks Ooh. like, it looks like, here it comes. We're so excited. <laughs> <laughs> there are 22 dolls to collect in the line, and um, they have crazy cool hair, different hairstyles to determine which doll it is, and they come with all fun accessories. So this is a new series, right? It's a new we series from Skyrocket, yes. Okay. I like That's that. Cool. 
Yeah, that is cool. So we'll wait until it reaches its full potential. It but may while be a little we have more a second, water. You know, who needs an Apple Watch when you've got a snap bracelet? That's a baby shark. Yes, yeah, snap <laughs> bracelets are is. making a comeback. Okay, and, if you say um, so. <laughs> I won't go with the fanny pack, though. I say no. Ready? That hurt, actually. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you just broke my wrist. <laughs> that, that I wanted was, to be sure you had your that, baby shark. Yeah, no, that was not uh, more like that, I think. Oh, actually. yeah, yeah that, that, was. that was it. So this oh, okay. is from Bullseye Toy, and it's, it's out now. And the, you can actually interchange the charms oh, that's for cool. the bracelets. Aww. So if you want Daddy Shark or Mommy Shark, Grandpa, Grandpa Shark, Baby Shark, they're all, they're oh, all here awesome. in the line. Now, Psych, are you going to sing the song? or Baby Shark. Do, 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 do. That's all I know. Oh, uh, well, that's, sure all that's all you really need. That is the entire thing. Now, would you like to get a kiss from a narwhal? I would, but how do I? So these are not these are narwhal, narwhal fingerlings, okay. and they sit on your finger. See, they didn't have these from, kinds of toys Wally. when I was a kid. The fingerling is my finger too big for this. You have to say you've got a big finger, my I've friend. I've got childlike <laughs> hands, but it might be too big for. Okay. All right. Well, how about we just pretend like it's on my finger? Yeah. Do you want me to, do you want me to just snap it on you? Right. On it also so, doesn't like you. Yeah. <laughs> These are narwhal fingerlings I've from Wowie. Worse. I've kissed way worse. <laughs> and they're the, Four years of option. <laughs> they're the unicorns of the sea, and they actually have a mood horn, and it changes color oh, depending cool. on its interactions. So it can flap its depending tail. Depending on the interaction. I know, so it's no giving reaction. you nothing. Yeah. There's, there's nothing here, mm -hmm. but it does open and close its eyes. And yes. Oh, and of course. And it kisses you if you put it next to you. Of chair. course yeah. it works for Elizabeth. Oh, yeah. How nice. Aww. I love you too, Nora. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this may be, this one will like you. This is a nasty slime thing. Oh, thanks. Yeah, Appreciate here's an that. alien for you. So, oh, to do Moose <laughs> Toys is, um, they brought out Treasure X last year. So, this is the new Treasure Ooh. X, and it's an alien. And kids are asked to do, to dissect the alien to find the a treasure hunter and treasure and all okay, different things. That's but wild. instead of sand, it's slime. <laughs> Which Isn't everybody that so loves. Gross? Is there it's, candy inside? There's like, no candy. Okay. It's a treasure hunter. <laughs> All right. So I'm looking for appendages, or what? What's the no. treasure? <laughs> well, you got a little what? friend oh, that's there. Cool. That's one friend. And oh, then, there are other little. Aliens? Yes, and you need a weapon. Doctor. I do. Okay. Yes. Oh. Oh. Wow. There he is. I, I didn't expect that. That's uh, that's an alien inside an alien. It's a, yeah. Well, this is that's a treasure like a hunter. Oh, okay. And you can get rare and super rare ones. Of course, because they have to be collectibles. They and have to buy ooh, moms ones. are going to like that you can store the slime in a container after, <laughs> so it will not make a mess. The Norwal likes it, actually, <laughs> apparently. The Norwal's happy that you're not yeah. touching it anymore. Look at that. Go right back in. All right, so LOLs. Okay. LOLs they're are still, still popular, thing. yes. Okay. And um, their newest <laughs> line that's out now are the Fuzzy Pets. And you unwrap it just like every other LOL. But these come um, with in a shampoo toys. bottle. Okay. Yeah, seven surprises, um, like a mirror or a little okay. bottle. And the pets actually are covered oh. in fur. Different kinds of fuzz. Some kids prefer to leave it this way. <laughs> Others, you empty out the shampoo bottle and you put it in water and you just give it like a little shake. And then you can rub off That's the fuzz. Awesome. And it turns into a cute little pet. That's so if cool. I wash you, does this come off? Wow. <laughs> no. Shot after no. shot after <laughs> shot. <laughs> I'm never I coming missed back. you. I'm never I miss coming back. Promises, promises. Okay, oh, sorry. This is. <laughs> so, this is uh, famous Camos are known for their um, STEM toys. So, this is a buildable four legged robot, and he moves cool. forward, left, and right um, using suction cups and these really cool pumps. And um, what's really cool is that it can, you can build four other models based on all the components from here. That's basically how I move on a Sunday morning after a rough Saturday night. Yeah. See, I'm glad I didn't have to say it that time. <laughs> I, that took it, I took the honor away from her. From <laughs> it doesn't have the same feeling, though. I think right. when I say no, it, it's yeah. more authentic. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> what do we have here? Monster truck meets something. So, monster truck, uh, this is a play dirt. And um, so uh, Spin Master is known for their kinetic sand. Oh, sure. So they use the same compound to make dirt. And it actually feels like dirt and, oh. you know. It feels like the playground material, like what you walk on, that, oh, yeah. um, that soft, Cushiony. rubbery. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. So what this does is you can build, it comes with a mold and you can build ramps. And it also comes with a die cast truck. And it's kind of cool because it has the dirt stained tires already. They think of everything. And, yeah, this stuff and you can, um, you know, zoom it down and do what they do at the arenas, and it's it's pretty fun. Awesome. And it, you can store the sand also. So another thing moms like, so it doesn't get everywhere. Now, Elisa's son Christian, his favorite thing on the planet, 
is PJ Masks. I've heard a lot about this. PJ Masks is humongous. We have Owlette. Gecko and Catboy. Yes. And now this is their latest their late accoutrement vehicle. <laughs> Thank so you. So this is coming out in the fall. Was the word I was looking for. <laughs> this is coming out in the fall from Just Play, and it is the PJ Mask PJ Seeker, and um, it comes with a searchlight to spot villains, a, a detachable cage to catch them, and it has a ramp in the back, and it, it also opens, and you can hold four of the vehicles and three characters. And this actually is a cool disc launcher if you want to go after the villains as well. Is PJ Masks going to be one of those things that's like hot at Christmas time? Like one yes, of this is coming oh, out. Yeah. This is a fall, so this is a big oh, holiday okay. toy. Okay, so this is probably my most favorite because I was already um, a little bit hazing Jen with it, <laughs> and now we're going to get psych involved. Oh, I have to do a lie detector. <laughs> This should be fun. Yes, and I can ask anything I'd like. Let's hope it's not working. Because this is Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Feel so, free. So okay. this is from Hasbro. It's a lie detector game coming out this summer. And basically it catches subtleties in your voice and uh, analyzes if you're lying you or if you're not lying. Yeah. <laughs> We're in a nursery and I'm not sweating. Go figure. So it's based on yes or no questions. And you just simply press the button down. And after you, and after you ask a question and then you release it, and it'll tell you if you're lying or not. Okay. And if you're lying, if it says you're lying, you get red. If it says you're you're not, you get green, and the point goes to you. If you're lying, it goes to the opponent. I like that. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. See, you already lost. <laughs> ah, see, he said he was ready. <laughs> lying. Okay, who's going first? Okay, I'm going. Okay. Okay. So you just ask the question, and then when I release it, then you have to answer. Ready? Do you like doing this show? I love doing this show. Yes or no? Oh, sorry, I didn't do it right. <laughs> You lied. See? Liar, liar, <laughs> pants on fire. I was under stress. I was under stress. Okay. I, can and I now ask, he's sweating. Can I ask Elizabeth one? Yes. Did you speed on the way over here today? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you lied. She lied for the sake of yeah. lying. Yeah. That's dishonest, Elizabeth, is what that is. But this could be really fun. It is fun. And it this comes with really like more fun. than 250 questions, and you can also ask your own. Oh, we're supposed to ask those? <laughs> no, oh. it depends. you can ask your own, too. Are you wearing... No, I'm just... Wow. Oh, this is actually a horrible question. I'm not going to say that one. All right, awesome. Jen, thank you so much. We'll do this privately. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Unicorns, Hello Kitty, almost anything you can imagine, including something with Captain Crunch, we can make into a macaroon. This is incredible. Yes. <laughs> All right, so tell me a little bit about the inspiration behind this table. So I started making out making macarons um, about a year and a half ago, two years ago, after I went to Belgium for my honeymoon. And I tried them for the first time, and I fell in love with them. And since then, I kind of had this obsession with getting the recipe correct. OK, so what is the secret to getting this recipe right? Um, time. Perseverance okay. <laughs> and lots of patience because you're going to fail time and time again because it's just such a finicky cookie. The batter has to be perfect. You have to have the right measurements. You use a kitchen scale. Um, the macronage, it's called how you um, say that again. Macronage. macronage. <laughs> I don't speak French, but, <laughs> but it sounds good. Yes. So how you so mix you taught the, yourself. You just you know, yes. read some books on it and decided yes. to teach yourself, and now you're going to mm -hmm. teach us. Exactly. So everything that you have gleaned, mm -hmm. we're just going to steal from you. Exactly. Okay, perfect. <laughs> so what do I need to know to do this? Because without you, I'm not going to be able to. Okay. <laughs> so the first thing is, is you measure your egg whites. You need to create um, a meringue. Okay. And how you create that meringue is with room temperature egg whites are best, and um, granulated sugar, cream of tartar for that acidity. You need that acidity to make the egg white stable. Okay. And then you get a stiff peak for the meringue. Okay. And it should look somewhat like this. You know your meringues are ready when it forms a ball um, at the bottom of the whisk. Ooh. So okay. once That's it's done, and also it should hold a stiff peak. Oh, at the I bottom. see how you pull it up and yep, it stays, and stays like that. Yep. Well, that's how my mom used to make the pies like that. With exactly. All the little... Okay, cool. Yep. All right, so that's one part of it. And then what's the next part? And then we have here is you have to sift your almond flour and your confectioner's sugar. Okay. And I also do some sea salt to bring out the, enhance the flavor as well, which I read in this book right here to help with the flavor. Okay. Um, so I've already finally sifted these and they're and good to go. And how long does that take? So the egg whites take around 11 minutes, 10 to 11 minutes to whip. While that's going on usually is when I sift the ingredients. I'll prepare my pans for piping, um, the bags for piping, wow. and that's what I end up doing yes, in the so meantime. This is a lot. Are you paying attention? <laughs> yes, okay, you have to be efficient. <laughs> um, okay. And then what I do is I take my egg white um, by... Sifted? Yes, almond flour. And so this is actually 
healthy? Gl gluten free. Oh, gluten free. Naturally, depending on the filling you choose. Okay. So, because there is no flour in it. So what I'm going to do is I take my. Now is it normally that way, or you just make it? That no, way? they are. Yeah. Because oh, okay, there's cool. no regular fl uh, flour in it. Should I put this down? I don't know. You give it to me. Okay. I'll thank take care you. Of it. So what I do is I empty it in. You can do it little by little as well. Okay. Um, and then you take your rubber, rubber spatula, and what you want to do is fold without fold your ingredients together. And what kind of consistency am I looking for? So a lot of people say a lava-like oh. consistency or a ribbon texture. So if you create a, um, a figure eight with the batter at the end and it does not break, that's the consistency that you're looking for. Wow. Yeah. And even though there were so many and rules to doing like, this, you still decided to make all oh, these yeah. different things. <laughs> exactly. It, 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 it didn't scare you away. No. You no. were up for a challenge. Absolutely. I feel like I want to work with you. So it looks like <laughs> this, like it's chunky, and then you okay. want to just keep going. Keep going. And then one mistake that a lot of people make is over mixing, and that's when it becomes too liquidy, and then it won't hold its shape when it bakes in the oven. Okay. Do you know that um, I tried to make a, a microwave cake and I did it wrong? So I'm, like, I'm not sure if I'm the best person for this, and I'm so glad that you decided. You're actually a teacher, but you decided to open your own business because mm -hmm. there's just been this overwhelming everybody devouring your macaroons. Exactly. I mean, my colleagues are so supportive, my family, my friends, everyone's been so supportive, and they. Um, I would make these just to bring in for fun for for people that I know, and then someone had asked me, "Do you sell these?" Can I have them for actually a cocoa themed birthday that I'm making this week? So that's when I was like, you know what, let me see how this happens. And, and then I'll... it just blew. Yeah, exactly. That's so. great. And then you're putting all the money away for your son. You have a little yes, son? Yes, my son Wesley. Um, he'll be two at the end of April. So I'm just trying to get a head start. That's his great. Education. Okay, so yeah. what do we add next? So that's it. And then oh, that's just... it? Okay. Yeah, so all we so, do is just so whip it. Yeah, it takes a little bit of time, oh, the macronage. <laughs> Yeah, you're still done. But that's your workout. Yes. Yeah, so so like I'm... instead of a dumbbell, you have a yes, spatula. Yes, a, a spatula and a bowl. <laughs> <laughs> and some batter. Yeah, okay. And then we're going to put this in here or no? Yes. yes. We'll add it to there. Okay. And then this that's is like a special tip. kind of... That's a silicone mat that I use because it kind of isn't, it shows doesn't you where stick. Place them. And there's a template. So you kind of want to pipe it into where that black circle is. And then when you slam the sheet, you have to slam the pan to get any air bubbles out and it will kind of spread into the red area. Okay, so by the power of television, we have kind yes. of what it will look like over there. Exactly, so okay. when they're done, what you're really looking for are these feet. That's what French macarons are known for, to have these feet right here. Okay. How they kind of come out. Oh, a little out. bit on the outside. Even. Yes. Okay. And then you know that they're, that they're and this how is what long they should look like. It? So I have a convection oven that I do 300 degrees. Okay and about 14 minutes or so on my oven. That's the other challenge, is knowing your oven. Oh, okay. Because when I had my other oven, it was 320. Oh, okay. And that was for 14 minutes. So just be willing to fail. Exactly, many times. <laughs> <laughs> but then and, you end up with a wonderful product. And then you can put whatever inside. So what are your yes. favorites? So these are, I'll What's go through the flavors. This, this is inside? a buttercream with Captain Crunch. I grind it so up and I, I eat it? yeah, go for it. It's like okay. It's, yeah. I'm making sure this must be like a test. Right? <laughs> no, no they're all real. Like purposes, Elizabeth. Okay, you keep talking. Okay, and try. these are. Um, I had a request for savory macarons because some people don't like such such sweet things. So these are goat cheese with rosemary and truffle honey. These are great for like girls' night wine tastings. Mm. Really awesome. Rainbow cookie I had made up on a whim, driving to work, 5 a.m., 5.30, and I thought, why not create this creation? It has almond buttercream, raspberry buttercream, jam, and bittersweet, uh, semi-sweet chocolate. Wow. And then these and are And then just, you do all these decorations with little pens. Yes, themed. It's just amazing. And of course, the unicorn, which everybody loves. Yes. <laughs> so we're gonna make sure to hook people up um, to your business through Instagram by heading to news12.com. Thank you, Elizabeth. <laughs> You're welcome.